between the Eagles' loss to the Redskins on Sunday, the huge number of earnings reports we've received, and the final presidential debate last night. It's been a long week. This is still only Thursday. It's times like this you need to take a load off. And tonight we're talking to a company that's mastered the art of helping people sit, Herman Miller, the maker of all sorts of modern furniture. You know them as the, as the company behind the Aeron chair, the gold standard for ergonomic office seating solutions and a pop culture icon in its own right. These things sell for hundreds of dollars and they're worth every penny, especially if you're like me and you need extra lumbar support. Now, when Herman Miller reported its most recent quarter a month ago, numbers came in a little bit light on both the top and bottom line. Since then, the stock's been weaker. It's fallen from $32 down to just below $28 right now. However, today the company announced an important new development, the first major redesign of the Aeron chair since it was introduced in 1994, the product of two years of design and engineering research. I think this could be a potential needle mover. And meanwhile, they're paying you to wait with the two 2.4% dividend yield. So let's take a closer look with Brian Walker. He's the CEO of Herman Miller. Learn more about this new design and what it means for the future of the company. Mr. Walker, welcome to Mad Money. Yeah, good Thank to you. have you, sir. Fantastic uh, to be here. This is a technology company that's also iconic with people, everybody we we're talking before about, from Muhammad Ali to President Obama, Kareem Abdul Jabbar, Tina Fey. People love your chair. If you do a redesign of the chair, does it actually possibly accelerate earnings? Yeah, you know, Jim, I think the big thing here is it's a great franchise, right? I mean, still, I'd still say fun, it's fundamentally it's the greatest chair ever produced, and it's still fundamentally the best chair. What we wanted to do, though, is we've had 20 years of, of new knowledge and new science by Don Chadwick, the designer, Brock Walker, one of our great partners, that we said, let's take the icon and move it forward so that not only our existing fans, but new fans could enjoy the Aaron chair. So what are the, say, three things that are different about the one that we – I love, I have, and the one that I'm sitting on. Well, you know, essentially, uh, while the chair looks very similar, really everything from the casters up is new other than the frame, the silhouette of the chair. The most important things what we tried to do is make the pellicle, the, the, the mesh, if you will, okay. fit the body better. So it mo- now has a zonal control, which you instantly feel when you sit in the chair that yes. it's better than the yes. old chair. We, now we know that people that are around offices often sit in multiple locations. And so they're not going to sit in just one chair. So we wanted to make adjustments super easy so that when you went from chair to chair, you could dial it in faster for you. And we've changed the ride of the chair so that you get a more smooth curve of ride throughout the whole, you know, reclined up, upright motion. Well, I think it's important to talk about how these kinds of things you're talking about dovetail with, a, with what you basically have as a, a health and wellness company that makes chairs, right? I mean, the things that you're including are about sustainability. It's about new generation uh, and what they want. This is in your culture. Absolutely. You know, if you look at even the founding of the Aaron chair, a lot of it was about aeration. In fact, the early idea came from how do you help people that are aging, age in place with being more comfortable. And so everything that we think about is how do we make your people more productive, more healthy and happy? And if you do that, you're going to have better employees, whether they're working at home or they're working in the office. And so, you know, with this chair, we were very careful always to say, how do we make sure the cradle to cradle of this chair, that it's going to be sustainable from an environmental standpoint? And maybe the best mark of sustainability is something that lasts forever. Okay. Now, in the last quarter, I mean, there was, you guys said it, you're a very straightforward company, very transparent, that you, the, uh, you'd slightly lower than expected, but could that be a transition? I mean, we're talking about something that could last for years and years, a new chair. Maybe people are waiting for it. It could have impact. I don't think so, because we really hadn't told many people about the oh, new okay. chair. So this is it. This is the first day. Today's the first day. We start taking orders today online. In fact, we uh, took some orders as soon as we announced it this morning. We had let some of our larger customers know it was coming. But generally, their buying cycle is pretty long, so I don't think it affected the quarter, to be honest. But you said that the linear of the quarter got better and better, so it's not something we should focus on. Yeah, I think, you know, there was a lot of talk by many industrial companies that the summer was kind of soft. Yes. And we saw that same period. We didn't know at the time until we saw some of our competitors and other industrial companies talk about the same softness. But certainly as we got into August, we saw much better performance. Okay, now, Design of the Century Time magazine for three straight Design of the Decade awards for chair. For chair. Yeah, we've actually, you know, Herman Miller, one of the great things and one of the pleasures of leading the company is we're constantly coming out with great designs that set the new standard. In fact, just recently, um, we have this concept called the living office was named one of the 20 top designs of the last 20 years. Well, okay, uh, design within reach, I did not know was you. I mean, I bought stuff at design within reach. Now you just talked about a little bit pricier. Right. We, well, we acquired Design Within Reach two years ago. Okay. Um, they had been a long partner of ours on the retail side. We had an idea to build a consumer business 
they were a big partner of ours, our largest distributor. Okay. And we knew the two guys who ran it for many years, right. been old friends in the industry, and they were owned by a PE firm and were coming out of the PE firm. Right. And we said, hey, you know what? Uh, let's get together because one of the things we saw happening is that more and more offices have a living element to them. Right. And we also believe that for Herman Miller, we had it to get more connected to the end user. So we've always talked to the company. We right. want to talk to the fans of the product. So when the company's choosing, they're choosing based on what it's going to do for the people. And then finally, you are a made in America company. Correct. Everything. Now, I know that you also have to buy a lot of steel. Do things like the tariffs that debate last night intrigue you, that the steel raw cost of yours, you have to pay it because you're American-made? Um, does it affect the pricing of your chair that we put tariffs on steel? Um, it would if, if it went to the particular steel that we buy. So far, that's not a big issue for us. Certainly, we saw steel prices rise a bit this year. Last year was a great year for yes. us on steel. It's come back up. You know, and our job is we're big believers in lean manufacturing, worked right. with Toyota for many years. So our job is, you know what, we have to do everything we can to always be more efficient. We're always looking for things that we can bring in-house. In fact, this chair will right. produce more of it in-house, which will enable us to offset some of the steel costs. Well, well I just need to know this because I hear this debate. How come you can make them better in America and still make a lot of money and we keep hearing people have to offshore things? Well, you know, the truth is we make our products regionally around the world. So we make this chair in the UK, we make it in China, and we make it here. And we ship it because for us, speed is important. So this might surprise you, but we actually produce this chair in 22 seconds. <laughs> I, just, I want to go to your assembly line. That must be amazing. It's killer to watch. The guys that do that work are amazing people. We literally bring the inventory in every 45 minutes. And everything we make today ships today. Oh, I love it. Well, you're an amazing, you work for an amazing, amazing company, and you've done terrific things. This is, this is an iconic moment right here, right now, introducing a new chair that I want. That's Brian Walker, CEO of Herman Miller, a great American and worldwide manufacturer with perhaps the most well-known piece of furniture ever made. Mad Money's back there for the break. Booyah! Jim Cramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.